Good morning and good evening, everyone. This is the code always wins, and I'm somehow still alive. <laughs> On today's video, I'm going to show you several mods I've applied to RK One Up. X-Men vs Street Fighter and Marvel vs Capcom PCBs. In this case, it's on a Marvel vs Capcom PCB on my X vs Street Fighter cap. Addiction! Hold it! Damn it! Bob 3D switched the tapes again. But he wasn't completely wrong. This is a proof of concept for now. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the most obvious thing here, which is the background and the colors. If we look at the stock PCB, we can see at least for the Marvel vs. Capcom cab that they are trying to model the colors based on the Marvel vs. Capcom logo. To some extent, this also applies to X-Men vs. Street Fighter. You can see the red, the yellow, the blue, and this really busy metallic panel. I guess they're trying to use the control panel. There's also some green and some other colors elsewhere, which honestly, the contrast isn't so great. Now, I'm no Bob Ross, but I feel like this is an improvement given the things I could do, just modding it. Like, you can see that there is only one main primary color, which is hot pink, and the overlays are simple white. There's no gray or yellow. Uh, there's a darker shade of black and the text is a little bit different. Uh, you can see that the win and lose is made a simple color. The quick match button matches. There is my name in the same color. And here's a few other variations here. So aside from the colors in the backgrounds, I've also changed the sound and the music. So you'll notice when you normally turn your cab on, you'll hear this. Now I actually like it, I don't hate it, it's Wolverine's theme. From Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. It does get a little bit tiring, like, you know, it's better to fight to this song than to turn the cab on to this song. Just my opinion. Outside of that, there's these sound effects, like this punching sound that was driving me so crazy. I pretty much turned it off in the options. Then I realized I should change it. And what I did was make it sound like Mob vs. Capcom 2. So that sounds a little bit better. Oh, and uh, this music. This is from X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. If you didn't notice the uh, hand-drawn Wolverine there. So moving on, let's get to some basic quality of life improvements. Now, couldn't do too much, but there were a few things. So normally when you go into a game in local, you have to see this screen that shows you how to play the game. And everyone kind of knows that. It's actually on the panel for stock cabs. So, uh, basically took a timer off there, and it just goes straight into the game now, which is a little better. On the flip side of that, when you want to leave, online or offline, usually you have to hold start for 5 seconds, and now it's just 4.5 seconds, so a little bit less annoying. Couldn't do all the way because then you couldn't use characters in Marvel vs. Capcom. Unfortunately, no one can be told. You have to see it for yourself. Uh, hello? Yeah, uh, that was weird. So this is my friend Morpheus 56 k He's playing against Iho-sama. These guys are both really good in Marvel vs. Capcom. But the main thing I want to highlight is that I changed the name overlays. So behind it, it's a little bit darker. There's a red outline. And I made their names red 
just because don't want to think about rank so much. Even though these guys actually are high level players. It's just a small touch. So moving on to the reason why this video took so long, the software input lag patch. So about six months ago, I was looking for a way to read player two for external applications that you can mod to sideload, retroarch, etc. And I noticed that there were some inefficiencies and just some things in the input code, uh, at least from what I could see because I'm not working with the core source code. So I rewrote it and uh, I started to make some edits. I talked to a very well-intentioned engineer at Arcade1Up. I have another video on this. Ironically, Team Encoder were the first to put a public lag fix out. And uh, this one is sort of a little bit more optimized because that one actually ironically did come out with the intention of fixing Retroarch second player. And this one is, is mainly like all I did was focus on lag fix for the last six months, sort of. It's complicated. So I wanted to get that out before anything else because that would improve the community games so yeah if you would like to download that right now click on the video in the link and that is all there's a little more information there if you thought this was interesting if you want to support these kind of projects like share subscribe end of my showing i do have to work on getting a method to distribute this one legally in the meantime you can go on over and download the final burn delta input patch thank you for watching Oh, um, there's some big things coming up. Um, I can't really share it at the moment, but you'll find out. This is Snake. Bob 3D. Huh, never heard of him. I wonder if you banished him to another dimension. What? It's the code always wins. I thought it was the codex. Uh, I must be in the wrong channel again.